Last episode, we was in the playoffs, and in the first round, we played against the Saints. It was a very defensive game, but at the end of the day, our offense is better than theirs, and our defense is better than theirs by, by a mile. And it didn't take very long at all for us to start just like start beating on them as Jaden was scoring. I was getting picks. Justin Jefferson was going crazy. We blew them out 10 to 38. Divisional round against the Cowboys and Jaden started his game off pretty great. He was going crazy. Stephon Gilmore couldn't hold him and nor could Stephon Gilmore guard Justin Jefferson. But in this game, Kirk Cousins ended up getting injured for about a drive. But then he came back in the second half and threw a dot to Justin Jefferson for a touchdown. And Dak was trying his best, trying his hardest to get CD to get in this game, try to make him get some yards and stuff. But I think he forgot that I was guarding CD and I ended up coming away with a pick six in the fourth quarter. That ended the game, basically. Y'all know we couldn't let the Cowboys get past us in the playoffs. We won 24 to 10. Then in the NFC Conference game, for some reason, somehow the Falcons end up making it to play us. Desmond Ritter at quarterback. Yeah, he threw a very dumb pick, and our offense was playing great. Jaden was playing pretty good on AJ Terrell. And at the end of the day, they just could not compete with us in this entire game. We was up 21-0 in the third quarter. Their defense wasn't good. Their offense wasn't good. We just, yeah, it, just, it really wasn't fair, 28-7. to and then lastly, in the Super Bowl, we ended up playing against Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs. And this was a good game. Mahomes let it be known that he was going to test me throughout this whole game, and I already come away with a pick in the first quarter. They got a pretty good secondary, but our wide receiver core is just too good. So they was able to get moves down the field and was able to score pretty consistently against the Chiefs. But the biggest highlight of this game was the fact that I had two picks in this game and Jaden had two touchdowns in this game. <laughs> like, this twin duo was going crazy. Then we beat the Chiefs 38-28 to to win the Super Bowl and give the Vikings their first Super Bowl in history. As us twins led this team to win. And I won Super Bowl MVP and look at the awards. And last season, I ended up with 19 picks. And the record was previously 14. So now that record's mine by a lot. Now, Kirk Cousins, he had a pretty mid-season, but he did what he needed to do. He didn't turn the ball too much. Justin Jefferson did his thing. He could have done better, but, you know what I'm saying, Jordan Addison had a good season, and Jaden could have had a way better season had he not got injured, but still had a good season. Now, in the offseason, we didn't end up signing anything crazy, but we did end up getting Bo Nix with our 32nd pick in the draft, which is actually perfect because Kirk Cousins was actually on his last year of his contract, and the GM decided that Kirk Cousins wasn't good enough to stay on the team, so he ended up signing with the Raiders. So now Bo Nix will be our QB1, and hopefully this rookie can, you know what I'm saying, do good. Now, last season that rookies won the Super Bowl, and you would expect us, especially being rookies winning the Super Bowl, you would think that we would have been celebrating with our team and everything winning that Super Bowl. But really, during the offseason, our main focus was just working hard and trying to get a lot better because Jaden was not able to win the Rookie of the Year award, obviously, because of the injury that he had suffered at the beginning of the season, and that really hurt him inside because he knew that he was going to be able to win that award and I knew he was going to be able to win it too. So during the offseason, we just working hard because we know that he has the skills, the talent to win Offensive Player of the Year. So while everybody else is out there partying and celebrating and stuff, me and Jaden, we just been in the lab all offseason trying to get better, trying to perfect our craft as we get ready for our second season in the NFL. And all that hard work is going to pay off here is in our first game back in the NFL we're playing against the 49ers. The team that beat us, the first team that beat us last season, they ended our win streak and they ended up getting the number one seed because of it. We're gonna have to go ahead and get our get back right here. But now the biggest part about this game is the fact that this is Bo Nix's first game, his NFL debut, and it's against the 49ers. That's amazing defense he gotta go against. We'll see how he does in this game. It's gonna determine a lot. I believe in him though. Now in this game, I'm going to have to guard Brandon Ayuk for most of the game, and I already know. He's, he's going to do a lot of short slants and all that other stuff. And I'm basically going to be lined up in the slot the entire game as he beats me over the top and gets a big first down. Second and 11, and George Kittle ends up getting open. He gets tackled, and he's going to the ground, and he ends up fumbling, and we thought we had it, but instead, they end up calling his back. It was overturned. They still got the ball. Brennan Ayuk ended up beating me over the top again. This ball was thrown to the back of the end zone. It was too far back. Incomplete. So that means it's locked up. We got them to a third down. And then Debo Samuel just standing there at the first down. And he makes a great catch while getting tackled. 
We already knew that was going to that run to get the touchdown, but we just could not stop CMC. He gets in there for that touch. And now it's time for offense to go ahead and strike back. And Bowden is going to hit Jaden in the middle of the field. Jaden had a post route, but he stopped in the middle of that zone because he knew he was going to be wide open, getting the first. Bo Nix is trying to go back to Jaden on this crossing route, but he overthrows this completely to the sideline. This would have been a big play. Bo Nix doesn't look too bad currently as he takes the flats instead of trying to force a pass for the first down, taking what he's given. Now, if it's one thing Bo Nix can do that Kirk Cousins definitely can't, is the fact that Bo Nix has legs. He would use them as he gets all the way to first and goal as he slides down. And on first and goal, running slants, there are multiple receivers open for this touchdown. And Justin Jefferson ends up getting it. Now, surprisingly, they've been trying to run the ball throughout this game, but we have not been allowing them to get too many yards off of it as we get them to third and ten. Then on third and ten, Brock Purdy is trying to throw this ball deep down the field, and that is just overthrown as he's escaping from the pocket, trying to get away from that pressure. Second and three, and Bo Nix almost threw a pick to Fred Warner. I honestly don't know how he didn't catch that. Then on third down, there's a wide open Jordan Addison on the wheel route, but Bo Nix just threw this ball completely out of bounds. First and ten, they're in a bunch formation. He tried to get Brandon out of the ball here, but my recovery speed was great, and I got to make the hit on him, and he dropped the ball. Down second two, he throws it to Brandon Ayuk again. He gets hit and he still makes the catch. Now just look at the physicality on this play. I'm all over Brandon Ayuk and he can't even get to the ball because the quarterback was under pressure. Then on third down, Daniel Hunter gets through that O-line easily, getting a big sack. It's the third quarter now. The offense was punted into a coffin to end off the second quarter. They couldn't do nothing with the ball. And now Bo Nix is still under pressure. He has to throw the ball away. It's still 7-7, seven seven. we need a big play. Jaden gets the bubble screen, and he gets a big play, juking out of the defender, getting down the field, and finally getting caught. And then Bonix is going right back to him on the crossing route. This time, he's not overthrowing him. He's getting him perfectly, and he's getting all the way to the 5. Just about. Now, on first and goal, just running the ball up the middle with Cam Akers as he gets his first touchdown in the game. Uh, 14 to 7. Now they got Brandon Ayuk running that wheel route. He almost caught the ball, but I had to come back, make sure he dropped it. Then on second and 10, he's going back to Brandon Ayuk on the end route. I thought I could make him drop the ball, but he still ended up making that catch in between two defenders. That's just a great play. Second and three, I'm getting physical with him. He's still throwing the ball, and there's a linebacker lurking right there, and he catches the pick. Now this is a perfect chance for offense to go ahead and make this a two-score game as Bo Nix throws this ball perfectly over that DB's head and Jaden gets the first down. Second and three and Bo Nix decided to throw the ball on a RPO and they only got one yard. Now he's trying to throw this ball quickly to Jordan Addison on the slant, but I don't know how that wasn't a PI. Because if I would have done it, it would have been PI. Offense ain't going for it though. They going for it here on fourth and two and Cam Akers is fighting. He gets the first down. Second and goal at the one yard line, running the ball in with Cam Akers again. He gets his second touchdown of the game. He's having a great game. Now at this point, we just got to play great defense. It's the fourth quarter, and CMC finally breaks off an amazing run. I get caught on the block, but good thing I'm fast enough to catch him before he was able to score it here, because that would have been bad. Now that running back wasn't able to score, but this running back Debo Samuel got open and ended up scoring there as I missed the tackle completely. I don't understand how I missed it like that, but he scored. It is third and six. TJ Hawkinson gets open, open enough to catch the ball, but he just dropped it. He could have got that first down. Now us defense, we got to lock them up, make sure they don't score. So we don't got to go to OT. But I hope the 49ers ain't get their hopes up. He tests me finally and I'm catching my pick, my first pick of this season. Here we go, man. We got our get back winning 28 to 14. And bonus NFL debut 12 for 21, 149 a touchdown. No, it's uh, yeah, kind of mid, but at least he ain't throwing no picks. That boy Cam did his thing, though. Two touchdowns in this game. They were big touchdowns, too. Now, first game of our second season, Jaden went crazy. Four catches, 100 yards. In this game, I ended up with two picks. Now, y'all saw one pick. Don't worry about the other. Honestly, I. 
Don't worry about it.